quick disclaimer and everything. And now we move on to a different manufacturer, SATA Interface. You can see the driving style is entirely different. I mean, it is a much older drive, but it looks much older. You can just visibly see it. Uh, it feels like it might use the larger bit here. Take the driver board off first, if that's possible in this model. I don't actually have any experience with Samsung hard drives at all. Nor did I really know that they made them. Well, it seems to come right off. Spring contact, uh, the foam, the insulating foam actually has a plastic layer on one side, so it's not sticky in both, and they stick it down to the actual drive. Uh, void if removed. I don't, that's, why would you remove, I mean, I get it, but why would you remove that sticker? I kind of actually like this arrangement a bit more. I got, well, because this board's larger. Physically compare size, there's obviously no way to get to that point, but I do like these springy contacts just going directly onto the motor assembly there. That's quite elegant. Might be able to take the motor out from the other side. It looks like that's the bottom of some screws. Yeah, we will be able to take a look at the driver board here. Normally you'd use pliers, but we use what we have in the room with us, don't we? All right. Oh, well, actually, I was going to say whole new ballpark, but a very similar driver chip on both of them. Just slightly different model and just different year. Um, different, cheaper motor driver, or at least unbranded. So I'll look up that part. And then this has some sort of Samsung chip, which is probably RAM. So discrete onboard RAM, or maybe these newer models integrate RAM something. Now let's do the interesting bit of destroying this drive completely here. I don't know if there's actually going to be any type of protected sticker screw or not based on the shape of this drive here. Well, that's probably the one on the spindle there. We were so close to having an entirely different approach, but alas, we have been betrayed back to our roots. All right, that's probably the only screw they have hidden. Uh, warranty void if removed, another one in a strange spot. Then again, I guess if you poked it or some crazy mad, no, how does this come apart? Oh, I do see the seal now. So yeah, so it just splits down the middle like we're used to, just different coloration. All right, there's the inside casting. Quite different because Western Digital, of course, just uses this plate, whereas this is actually a top casting with a shiny part actually integrated into the cast and then another casting on the bottom. Only two platters, but they're both exposed. And this one does not seem to have an external break anywhere. That's quite interesting. Okay, good. There is a physical stop to prevent the heads from coming off the side and sticking together. So, you, you know, you have a reduced risk of a drop being able to destroy this drive immediately. But I'm not a fan of the non-existent brake there. It, it, there seems to be a tiny magnet on the back of the arm that locks it onto the new metal housing. And it's on a bit of rubber. That's quite cool. That's quite ingenious. I do like it. It's an amount of force to be overcome with it. We're in a whole different ballpark here. The stop is actually locked under this top magnet here. It's quite different. So to do a platter swap in this drive, I imagine you have to take out this magnet. Oh, it feels loose, so maybe it's slightly easier than I thought. Oh. Oh, quite interesting. The whole magnet assembly is one, it's one assembly for the, all the magnet parts. It's quite different. Look at that. You'd have to sit there and separate this, which I imagine is going to magnet. Yeah, okay, it will separate. It's just held together by the magnetic force, but quite different. And then that means we can 
destroy everything by just going like that. Oh, it doesn't go as far as you'd think. Oh, that's quite sad. We're getting stuck on there. Ooh, oh. Oh, that's so bad. Well, if we weren't convinced enough that this is completely dead. Oh yeah, and if you're doing platter swap, you have some weird tool that keeps the, the little brush that keeps the heads all separated, but we're obviously not fancy here, so. Oops. And again, shoving our hand in the things that we shouldn't. Two screws around, how's that stuck? It's just stuck in there. And we should be able to turn this and lift out the assembly. Or not, hold on. Wow, is it me or do they actually screw this one in? Oh, that might be screwed in by that piece in the center. Don't worry, I do own hex drivers there. It's not a three, is it? No. Well, and let's see if the Torx piece fits in the, no, not, not that size doesn't fit in the square drive. If that does in fact get removed by a square driver. Well, let's try the 2.5. Yep, works fine. 2.5 millimeter hex. And does this come freely now? Well. What a challenging device you are. Well, we'll get the platters out of the way and then attempt again here. It's a much tinier screw, but it is in fact not. And this looks like it's gonna be difficult to rip. Although these are not on there as tight. Quick, steal my fingerprint as there's a perfect impression on the drive now. Guess I can't lock my phone with the thumbprint now. Where if the Resolution on YouTube is enough that you could steal identity from this blurry video. All right, let's compare the platter sizes here. We can see the, look at the mirror underneath to really help us confuse here. See the Samsung is much thinner, although I don't think it's focusing. See the Samsung is much thinner, at least you can in person. Uh, the inside ring is virtually identical and the Outside, it's, I think it's just a hair smaller, if not the same, so it's just thinner. And maybe there's some sort of density reason why you would do that that way. See, we have three screws holding this rather large separator plate here. Really cheap feeling piece, you know, for, compared to other hard drive parts. And then of course there's a visually similar butter. Yeah, so it does look like the motor will just come out with a few torque screws like we've been doing. So let's see if that is the case. All right, motor just comes right out. You notice uh, it's got the contacts just right on there and it's one whole assembly. You can feel the resistance and tiny magnets. It does not actually spin that freely. So at least, you know, open load or un under no load, but uh, and now that we're Back to square one. This is still held in by something. I could break it out. But after just wiggling it by hand a bit, it just came off. So your guess is as good as mine as to why I couldn't lift that out. Anyway, we can see they use the similar method of having a small die on the flex. There's actually several passives on there of a surface mount variety. Very similar bonding technique here. And that goes over to not too dissimilar, although much larger, although it is older, uh, connector. Similar number of wires. So it's, it's possible that this, these are at least in the same family or brand drivers, we can see they opted for one arm per head, whereas this one has the middle, has two heads. So slightly cheaper or different design there. Bearings probably rather equivalent in the wires going over similar thickness, although the actual heads appear much larger. Of course, again, we are saying over and over that it is older by a slight amount. And here's our little rubber magnet piece. Make sure it's magnetic. Oh, quite interesting. Does not appear 
to be magnetic, but it will stick to a magnet, so it is just metal. And the bottom housing is much lighter on there. Well, as we can see there, although these are from different eras and different times and different manufacturers even, all hard drives are relatively similar and use kind of the same brand of components, really. In fact, I don't even know who manufactures the actual platters themselves, but it might even be the same person, same company. The way Samsung did their housing is quite different, but again, that might even be slightly due to age. I would need to get a similar aged Western Digital to compare. Double check that I don't think the Samsung part is made by anyone. Yep, samsunghdd.com. So Samsung did actually manufacture this, and of course they make SSDs now. But yeah, I do find the construction differences quite interesting. And of course we have all of these magnets now. The foam actually has a number written in it. Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe and all of that, and have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Nick, and I'll see you in the next episode.